Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of February um, 17th through the 29th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, if you guys are wanting to book a reading, uh, video readings, payments are collected on Fridays, orders and payments. And if you also want to reach me by phone, that's a different process. So also make sure you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications of when I'm taking the live phone calls. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, heart of the matter as the high priestess. We have the two of pinnacles. We have six of cups. <clears throat> Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Devil. <clears throat> All right, so the central issue here is I feel about really listening to your inner voice. There, it looks like there is a decision that needs to be made. And this is something that's been ongoing. This has been going on and on. Something from your past, I feel like there's looping memories. I feel like there's someone who's in and out of your life. Um, you could be, the, well, this is a soul. It seems like it, it's a soulmate, but I don't know if things are just having a hard time taking off or something seems very um, unstable about this relationship or this connection. Um, if you are completely single, then it's just about someone that keeps trying to come forward and express how they feel about you. But I feel that they keep changing their mind. I keep seeing someone saying hi. Someone, someone's always saying hi or someone's always trying to get your attention. <clears throat> or maybe that's you. I also feel like someone wants you to know that they're, that they need you or they're drowning. <sighs> like they want you to pull them out. They want you to rescue them and take them out of this emotional misery that they might be in. It's just like, oh, I just wish they would just kind of Help me out here, like give me a little leeway or, you know, meet me halfway type of energy. Um, so I also feel that maybe you have been waiting for clarity about something or waiting for something to be confirmed. And I do feel like good news is on the way or something happens where you'll be happy you'll you'll feel a sense of satisfaction so emotionally i see you feeling complete especially within yourself now i also feel like something's going on where someone knows the other person is suffering but they're taking pleasure in watching you guess or <clears throat> figure something out. So I don't know who's playing which role. I feel like somebody is confident and then someone is insecure or you guys take turns with these feelings. One minute you're the confident person, they're insecure, the next thing is different, uh, is, is switched. Um, somebody might intentionally be making you wait for them or you might be um, doing this. Um, if you're in a relationship, something about your partner Either you or your partner likes to play mind games or likes to make you guess and wait. 
there could be some sort of communication problems. I feel like somebody is getting tired though. Somebody is like, I'm, I don't. I don't know that I feel like nothing's happening. Like maybe one minute you're feeling optimistic. The next minute you're like, I don't think anything's going to happen. Nothing's going to manifest for me. And from your from your view, it doesn't look like anything's happening. Things look silent. Things look dead. It just doesn't look like things are moving forward. So you might decide to walk away from a situation or someone might decide to walk away from you for taking too long somebody i feel like this is directed towards those that are single and and have like some sort of love connection with somebody um and maybe you're just wanting this person to come forward or it's you're dealing with somebody, but like I said, it's so unstable. One minute they're gone, and this is something that's routine. It's like, okay, they always stay away for about three or four days, and then they call. And then it's almost like this time, are they going to call this time? Like something's going on where it looks like a routine is becoming boring or disappointing. So at some point, someone is just like, this is not, not, this is not for me. Um, I thought this person was my soulmate or I thought this person was my other half. That's what I'm looking for. I think someone is also waiting for someone to tell the truth or to be honest about something, but they're not doing it. So they're like, well, I need to I need to move on. Some of you are single, but you have not been able to let go of somebody like there's you are still secretly hoping that this person from the past is going to return somebody that you still care about it's not um somebody that you don't like this is someone that you still care about and you're waiting you're losing hope um there's also someone may sink into depression. It also could be if someone is coming towards you, like you're single, but there is someone that's getting ready to come into your life. And this person is not mentally or emotionally stable. This I feel like this person is just now, this person, even if they're not, even if they've been broken up for a while, this person is still kind of stuck on somebody and they get triggers. Like one minute they're fine and the next minute like something happens and they're like, I miss, I miss the person from the past or why didn't it work out with us? So I feel like there is a sad person coming towards you or someone that's, um, that sinks into depression I also get like a weird sexual energy where you may get involved or you're already involved or this is your energy. Somebody is um, a sadomasochist. Someone is definitely into some sort of bondage, psychological bondage or physical bondage. You also could be dealing with a Capricorn Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, the following week, I'm seeing this go two ways. If you're in a relationship, I feel that you are spending time with this person. You feel at peace. You guys are feeling safe together. Someone feels like you're a protection. Uh, there is a sense of security. You might decide to stay in and stay away from everybody and just hold on to each other. Um, that's if you're in a relationship. If you are not in a relationship, there is someone 
that you may view as your perfect companion or this is how they view you. It's like this is the ideal person for me. And it looks like they might be fantasizing from afar, like they're watching you from their computer or their, you know, from a distance. And um, even when, you know, when they're alone, if they're not like looking at you on a computer, they're like laying down and just daydreaming or thinking about you or having dreams about you. Um, and they, they feel like I'm staying right here. I'm going to wait for this person because I believe this person is my soulmate. Um, and so someone is, uh, someone is being very patient. They're like, I can wait. I can wait, especially if it's a situation where, let's say you're the one being watched, but you are in a relationship. I feel like there is someone that is watching you and saying, it's okay, I'll wait for them to break up or I'll wait for their relationship to come to an end and I'll be here for them because this is my soulmate and we belong together. So someone feels like they can wait. They don't care. They feel like they have all the time in the world. Um, there is, I see some sort of love message coming out. I feel like someone has been secretly harboring feelings, keeping something to themselves. I don't know if it's you. Depends on who the pursuer is. I just feel like the pursuer is withholding their feelings. They have deep romantic feelings. This person is very sensitive. They're psychic too. Someone is all up in your thoughts. They know it's like they know you. This person knows you. Um Yeah. You can feel this person's energy. Someone likes to Someone likes to see if you can feel them. They're like, I wonder if they can feel me too. And they like to send energy your way. So there is some sort of connection between you and another person. If you're already in this relationship, you and your partner have a connection where sometimes you guys can just, you just know what the other is thinking and feeling. And it's like, it, they can detect if you've had a bad day um, it's like when you come home, they have already made some sort of arrangement so that you're comfortable. Maybe they drew your bath water, um, or maybe you're that person, you're the nurturing person. You're like, Oh, I could feel, I could tell they had a bad day today. Let me do this for them. Or let me, um, make them feel very comfortable once they get home. So they kind of prepare the house. Um, you kind of prepare the house for them to come home. If you are single, I I just feel that there is a strong connection between you and somebody at a distance. It's like you can feel each other's energies. Hmm. I feel like someone's also doing some sort of meditating. Someone is trying to manifest. Someone's trying to Use the law of attraction to draw in their significant other. I also feel, though, I do see pot the possibility of spell work involved, though. There is a possibility that someone is using some sort of magic or spell work to attract a love interest, especially if this is a situation where someone is obsessed with having you, they are somewhere at a distance kind of doing some things. Um, I don't know if they're burning candles um, or writing your name on papers, making petitions. I don't know. I just kind of feel like someone is getting to the point where maybe it's overwhelming and intensified and they just like, I have to have this person in my life by any means necessary. So they start to do things to try to pull you in. Um, for others of you, this is more so about 
you might need to cleanse your space or your energy. I'm seeing someone who's also in recovery. Someone might be a recovering alcoholic or recovering drug addict. Someone is always faced with temptation. There is someone dealing with some form of addiction. Even if it's not substance abuse, I feel like it's <clears throat> some sort of emotional abuse. Someone has someone is addicted to manipulating people's emotions to trap them. And they're like, I can't help it. I keep, I keep doing this. Hmm. And I do see someone going right into someone's trap. Is something is magnetic. So I'm seeing a connection is very magnetic. And I think what it is, too, is that there's someone that you're connecting with. And this person is a soulmate. But it also needs to be purified because there is some sort of toxic energy between the two of you. Like you have some sort of um, karmic obligation that needs to be fulfilled with each other it needs so that you can purify yourself either the relationship can be purified or at least once that lesson is learned you can break free from it and in that cycle but it's like even if you don't move do it with this person there'll be other people being sent to you that where you have to learn that how to heal something within yourself because all connections, keep in mind, are really reflections of yourself. And if you have anything going on within you, that person is going to be a reflection of that. So if there's good things going on with you, they're going to show that. But if there's also some other emotional uh, damage within you, they're going to bring that out too. And even if you try to escape or run away, um, it's like... Spirit is going to send someone else. It's like you need to deal with this. You need to handle this. You need to, until you can heal yourself, this is what you're going to continue to attract. Um, but there is something else I was seeing here before I go. If it doesn't come back, I'm going to go ahead and just end it. Um, something about this relationship I'm seeing. Yeah, like I see overall there is the possibility of just being magnetically drawn to someone. Um, and it's weird because the relationship itself, it needs work. This relationship would need work. I don't know if you're already in the relationship. If you're not already in it, then it's the person coming towards you. It's like they're your ideal. They're everything that you imagined, but... It needs work like this person is not squeaky clean um, and whatever is happening like there you're gonna see that there's issues about possessiveness obsessions codependencies like all of that stuff is gonna be triggered whatever is whatever needs working on within you is gonna be triggered and that's what this person is gonna be so you will have to have patience to deal with this type of energy if you if you choose to or you can just wait for the next person so with the same same energy i'm sorry but i mean i hope that makes sense uh feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you